G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with some Final Fantasy XV news. So recently there has been an active time report put out by Square Enix. Now the active time report is a medium, it's a, uh, a live stream that Square Enix used to pretty much tell us what their intentions are for DLC, content, and other things in the Final Fantasy universe for the coming months, and generally give us kind of a, uh, a roadmap and where they're headed in that direction. So for the main part, they pretty much talked about the same stuff that we saw at E3, which was the Final Fantasy XV universe, which includes the mobile games, the anime, the movie, the actual game, as in far as uh, DLC and episodes go, and they also talked a little bit about the VR. Now, they said as far as the VR goes, uh, they have announced one, which is the Monster of the Deep, which will be released on... The, in September of 2017, and that is a fishing experience, largely. Uh, there is a little, a few other things with it, but it is mainly a fishing experience. But they have said they're actually working on a, another VR experience, and this one is going to be focused on battle or uh, some type of combat. In my mind, I'm pretty much thinking uh, the best fit for this would be something along the lines of episode prompto. Maybe they're going to do like an episode prompto VR experience. I think it would fit really quite well um, just because of the shooting. I think there's first person elements in uh, episode prompto and third person elements. And also the snowmobile sequences would actually fit really well with the VR uh, too. So yeah, it could be kind of cool to see that, I suppose, if you got VR, but I would hope for a brand new experience. Uh, the Monster of the Deep, the fishing one, really caught me off guard. So I really, I honestly, at this point, I have no idea what direction um, Square Enix is going at this point. But anyway, looking forward to that one. So another really huge thing that came out of this conference, no solid information, but... The directors or the uh, the marketing manager, Akayo Afuji, sorry about my pronunciation as always, uh, said that the company didn't reveal everything that it is working on during E3. He said that they all they have all sorts of things on a large scale due for this summer. Now they said they were going to be making a very big announcement or they would release some big information. Uh, or good news during Gamescom. Gamescom comes in August, and uh, I believe that we're going to get a big shock from that one concerning the Final Fantasy XV universe. I have really not much of an idea of where this could be, or what this could be, actually. Uh, Square Enix, like I said before, I really do not... I have no idea what direction they're going on with these games and these DLCs. Sometimes you think, oh yeah, I think I know where they're going, and then they just go completely curveball and do something completely random. So I really... I don't know what this new information or this new um, good news can possibly be. Possibly another previously unannounced episode... Maybe it's a teaser trailer or something for episode Ignis, or it could even be the multiplayer patch, or maybe the very rumored and a, I think, uh, misinformed rumor of episode Arden. But it could also be they might be telling us their intentions or what they're going to do with the survey information that we answered recently. So it's going to be really interesting, and you can be guaranteed that I'm going to cover whatever little bit of news comes out of GamesCon in uh, August. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for that one. So the other information that came out of the uh, the active time report was the fact that we will be getting the noodle cup hat that I had previously mentioned in another video. The thing is, it looks like at the moment it will be limited to people that participated in a promotion through the uh, noodle cup company. They did a noodle cup XL promotion, I think. Uh, so you actually had to use a some type of code or you had to uh, register on the website. I'm not sure of the details. I myself personally don't know how you registered for it, but apparently on the 27th, the same day that episode Prompto launches, those people will be getting those uh, DLC in the game. But they have confirmed at a later date, everybody will be getting those hats. So it may come uh, with maybe the release of episode Ignis, possibly. But that should be pretty cool to look forward to down the track.
Also, they touched on the uh, what have been dubbed the Power Ranger suits or the Magitech Exo suits. They said they should be coming soon. Whether soon means in three months or a couple of weeks, we don't really know. But I know last time they released some preliminary uh, images for it. So I don't think we could expect them that soon until we actually have a couple of images of it. But again, once I get any information out of that, I'll be sharing it with you guys. And hopefully we can ride that hype train together. So other than that, they just showed a few little clips of episode Prompto, a little bit to do with the uh, Regalia Type D, and a little bit more from, from the uh, Snowmobile action, or gameplay from the Snowmobile action. But that will be coming out in about three or four days now. So I think we should just wait until then, and then we will uh, get to experience all in its full, complete uh, form. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm going to be covering everything possible about episode prompto on the channel here so make sure you subscribe make sure you've hit that notification button and uh join me for some live streams or some guide videos and uh hopefully it's a good time for everyone involved anyway that's about it from this uh video from me if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you got any comments or suggestions or you want to tell me what you think this big news coming out at Gamescom in August will be, then leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This information was originally tipped off to me by the gaming website jewelshockers.com. So make sure you head over there and check out their different articles and stuff because they're really quite good and that's how most of the time I get my information. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and this has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mm -hmm.